You know, one thing that I think is really interesting and I'd love to get your perspective on is how much do you guys take into consideration how good someone is marketing a coin versus mm, that's a good question versus the actual product itself <laughs> this does that that make sense it, yeah. it makes a lot of sense we we, we teach yeah. this man this is something like yeah um i usually have this like it's it, so one, one thing we always teach is about culture so that's why we like the memes and all this silly shit like right. hit the pepe for a second or something like you know we hit yeah. and then um you know stuff like that right but usually there's something called like you know the old l7 loser from the 50s yeah. right like yeah, yeah. The, the box right there's four points to the box, and the two most important points is community and who's the leader, who's the team, right? right. And I think the real, the real most, like, if I were to tell you what's the most, like, liquid, like, liquid cocaine, the flame, the, like, it's the leader, right? Because I, I like very, very personable or YouTubing sort of, like, leaders mm -hmm. and stuff because that's the marketing of today, right? Which, which right. is ironic with the, the decentralized nature of crypto, right? right. But it's the human aspect right. of crypto. It's the tribe. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. and this people for, and people forget at the end of the day who buys coins. It's humans. It's not AI. Even if when we have AI running everything, at the end of the day, like, I, th I, I really believe if Tesla as a company and everything, like all, all that Elon has done, if Elon was very antisocial and wasn't doing, he wouldn't be, he would not be the richest man on the planet right now. Guaranteed. Because yeah. he would not be able to raise money. No. Yep. I raised a million dollars the other day and that came down to a lunch in New Orleans. Mm. Yep. You yeah. Know? Trust. Yeah. Uh, that's another thing. I believe that trust is going to be the hardest commodity to get in the world. I think I heard somebody say this. Yeah. I just I heard them saying I agree with it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there's a concept of that in the, the book, The Sovereign Individual, which says as we go deeper and deeper into the digital age, basically into this right, century, yeah. um, because we're going to have more remote working, we're going to have teams dispersed globally, right? Trust is the main currency, right? It's the only thing that's going to basically allow you to run your business properly. Right. Because, yeah, like we were talking about this a little bit before the show, but one of the goals that, you know, the, the main goal of why a lot of the reason why we do what we do is basically to get that self-sovereignty, to get that freedom, to be able to live wherever we want, whenever we want, with whomever we want, and all that stuff, right? right. And so getting that true freedom, you know, uh, yeah, it, it takes a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, takes, it takes years. I mean, it takes years to build up a good reputation. It takes like one fuck up to fuck it up, right? Yeah. Right, but like you're, you are right. I mean, right now, the, I mean, we're building, we're building trust. We're building a, an organization and stuff, and it's a difficult thing to build, but once you have it, it's worth its weight more than anything. Oh, yeah. And stuff, it's, it's powerful. Because it's, if, if you have a good name, you can rebuild everything again. Well, know? going back to what you were saying about the 2017 cycle, there's yeah. a lot of people who are just turn and burn, turn and burn. I'm only in this industry for one cycle, and I don't give a fuck, and I just want to take money from everybody. Scarcity mindset right. type people. And like, um, that's just not sustainable, right? right. But You're like, lose. Yeah, and so recognizing that, when he's talking about leadership, right? Recognizing that in the leader of some peoples of coins when they're basically trying to market to you um, is really important, right? right? So if you can go to conferences, meet people in person a little bit, you know, you can figure That's that out That's where the human better. element really comes in. It's right. like, can I look this person in the eye? It's exactly. super, super important because yep. you'll notice that sometimes it's, it's like, I, I've said this before, but it's kind of like meeting the crypto kid that hit a pump that kind of didn't have all his stuff together right. until he's a little bit hollow. He's not mm. sure yet. Yeah. And that doesn't make him a bad person, but right. I'm not worried about bad people. I'm worried about desperate people. Right. Mm. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And so when you get to the person with the scarcity mindset, they're living in that scarcity through desperation for some reason. They're desperate yes. to get to this certain place and they'll step on any head they must. Phil Cone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Oh, there's a, I, I'm not, not going to name well, too many names, but Phil, there's a guy in 2017, Phil Cone, that was just uh, oh, yeah, yeah. popular for that. He wrecked people. Yeah. But, yeah, but like, I will say with these guys that get really rich really quickly and stuff and they move to Dubai with the Lambos right. and stuff like that is like, to me, it really depends on because there's still an upbringing. Even if you're 21 years old, there still is like some firmware there that was downloaded by the parents or the environment you were in, right? And did they get rich from scamming or did they actually make a really good product or and they tried? Like, if it's okay if a guy got rich off a of crypto coin and it failed, right. I get it, but he tried versus some kid who literally just scammed his money did through an NFT, purpose. did it on purpose. And, and that, and then this is what worries me is I'm seeing a lot of, I mean, and, I'm, and I'm, if, I'm not NFTs I'm, were the breeding ground yeah. for that. Not saying that a lot of people did that or didn't do that allegedly. Right. Yeah. But NFTs are the breeding ground. Any new innovation in crypto, right. That's at the beginning of it's like a uh, first major cycle. Um, that always happens. And right now AI coins in crypto, that's where that is. Like, 
there are so much scams in that sort of yeah. space. But like, I mean, just go back to the to the to the, um, to the Dubai thing right now, right? There is a lot of guys I'm seeing. I'm not going to name them by name and stuff, but there's a lot. I I can tell me and me and Charlie been in the crypto space for a long time. We've seen a lot of people come and go, and I see a lot of these up and coming. There's some guys out here that you know they're trying to get 100k channels on YouTube talking. Yep. They're all crypto yeah, yeah. and. A lot of these guys are very fake. Well, look at engagement rates. Yeah, it's. I mean, a lot of these guys, they hack their way to 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 attention. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Oh yeah. They, so engagement rates, like they bought their followers, or that the substance is not there to retain. It could be both. Who it, knows? Yeah. Well, they're playing. Can you do that on YouTube. What? Can you buy followers? Yeah, yeah of course. There's like yeah, these really. third party companies that are really fucking shady. They always like yeah. spam your comment section and yeah. basically say like, hey, like the Instagram people. Yeah. yeah like, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like, do not fall for that shit. But like there's I've seen channels, right? Like they're like, oh, it's exploding. But like the same amount of people are watching it right. as before. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So I'm like, OK, this guy's just a shyster. All right, like right. like all right. Yeah. imagine this. Imagine that I make a um, I make a cryptocurrency. It rugs. I make millions and millions. Let's just say I make thirty, forty million dollars off of it, or I make some crazy amount of money on it, and then. But I have no like. I'm a young kid. I make all this money, and then I stop talking crypto, and then I go into business. What the hell do I know about business? Right. If you don't I, have I didn't, a background. I don't have a background in that. Right. And but the thing is, people are seeing the Lambos and the cars, and like, oh, I've got all this stuff, and they're giving dating advice, and the you know, and it, like the guys like had like two, three girlfriends in his whole. Life. Yeah. You know, it's it's crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? It's, I, I know what you're talking it, about. It, you know, somebody brought somebody up to me in that world the other day oh um, okay and i guess i'd never thought about it before but they're like hey he made this money in crypto and now he's doing this this and this i'm like oh that is kind of interesting and you mm. do see it yeah you do see it um i mean there are some people you could call like renaissance men right who like course, are going to become proficient in a lot of different categories right yeah. But it's not the majority of people. Yeah, right. Yeah. But, no, but some because I look. I mean, I've dabbled in a lot of these places, but like, I have more respect for a guy like he made, he made his money here and he's still talking about it. Yeah. Like, the, if these guys were still talking about the crypto and stuff and they didn't go away, all right, good on you, man. I see you, man. You, you're right. saying prof, you're saying in your lane where you're proficient in. There's nothing wrong with making like I like if I if I have a crypt, if I talk about crypto for the next ten years, I might make a reaction channel if I wanted to, or I could right. talk to a real estate show if I wanted to. But but I'd still yeah. I'm doing my main thing. The weird thing to me is it seems like they just jumped ship into something else that didn't, yeah. that had nothing to do with with what they're doing. And then on top of that, um, they're getting a lot of bad advice because, like, I'm hearing this. I'm a lot older than a lot of these guys, and I'm hearing what they're saying, and I'm just like, this is a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. Are like, they talking about crypto directly? No, they're not even talking about crypto anymore. They're talking about business and giving very bad business takes. I see. But the thing they is, get they get desperate in bear markets because they go broke. Yeah. But yeah. they're giving yeah. this advice while looking cool. Like the whole thing is, like, I'm not. We're not falling. Me and you, all of us here, we're not falling for like when we're on Instagram. We see some kid with a Lambo. We're like, I'm on the private jet. Like, I, ain't, I, I don't care. We, we already have money. Like, we all, everyone here has money. We all, we all go on private yeah. and stuff. Like, we, you know, we, I mean, we, the other day we were, in, we were playing around with fucking, like, cars of fresh and shit. You know, we're yeah. going in McLarens yeah, yeah. and stuff. Like, I'm, I, we're not impressionable like that, like a, like a 19-year-old mm -hmm. kid and stuff. Right. And they're falling for the shit hook, line, and sinker. And that's not even where they made their money. Right. You no, know? I get it. I yeah. get it. The, LARPing can be profitable mm -hmm. online, yeah. for sure. Short term. 